Kia ora everyone. My bed's not made, but it's okay. We're not gonna be here for long. Don't judge me. So, it is Saturday the, hold on. It is Saturday the 23rd of May, and today I'm allowed to leave the house. I've actually been allowed to leave the house for two weeks, but last week I didn't really leave the house except to go to work. But this week, I'm gonna go shopping. Not just any old boring shopping. I'm going to be supporting local businesses in Dunedin. As we all know, due to the current situation, people's businesses have been suffering. And on this channel, we don't like big old corporations. So I'm gonna go and help out the, the businesses that I think deserve it the most, which are the small local businesses. <laughs> I'm covered in cat here. What's new? And you know, I, I was thinking of just doing a haul, but that's not fun. So I'm going to take you along with me and it's kind of like a, a vlog haul, chop with me thing. And then there's less pressure for me to buy lots of stuff because I don't really have the funds to support that kind of thing. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys will enjoy this and hey, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to. I, I won't, I won't hold it against you if you don't, but it would be nice. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go. Do what? Let's go. <laughs> So I'm back from my shopping trip and done a bit of damage. Not as much damage as I thought I would do. Happy about that. Happy with what I've got. Time for me to share with you all what I got. This is my second time trying to film this because it turns out I don't know how to talk this afternoon. So here we go anyway. First place that I went was The Kind Grocer, which is a vegan cafe slash food store in Dunedin. I love them. They're awesome. They've got what's a nice fun vegan treat sort of food. As I showed in the, excuse me, as I showed you in my b-roll, I got a donut, a gluten-free salted caramel donut. Yum. They have a lot of gluten-free stuff there a lot of the time. It's awesome because I know it's already vegan. And then I've already eaten this because I was Real hungry just before. It's a oh god, got the wrapper. Fulton chocolate biscuit bar, caramel rocky road. So it's like caramel, Belgian chocolate, and marshmallows. Sarah likes it. She just rubbed her face against the wrapper. It was really good. I don't have much to say. It, it tastes like what it sounds like, which is good. <laughs> and the second thing that I got was 
mini marshmallows if you have seen my lockdown favorites video which i have already filmed but not edited but it's going to come after this i love these dandies marshmallows at the supermarket they only sell the massive ones but i found at the kind grocer mini ones which are even better for hot chocolates which is the the best place to have a marshmallow so yeah i'm gonna give them a try and hopefully i can make them last longer if they're mini probably not but we'll we'll give it a try are you gonna sit down please come on the second place that i went was finders keepers boutique which is one of my favorite shops They've got like, well the woman who runs it, she makes earrings and there's also vintage clothes and like other clothes that she's sourced from other places. So it's really cool. I got a couple of things here. This is definitely where I did the most damage. First up, I got these fun shorts. I love a fun short. I got several pairs of fun shorts. I got these pink 80s-ish ones. I got these fluoro orange levi like dad sport shorts got blue cookie monster shorts like they're made of like towel material and they look like cookie monster it's actually probably all but i have another pair these ones are like clown rainbow pants they fit perfectly though and they were real cheap they're like five dollars and you know we're coming into winter so i needed another pair of shorts of course that was a joke ha 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 what, what can I say? I see some fun shorts and I buy them. I'm a, I'm a simple woman. Next thing I got was some sunglasses. I literally tried on like 10 pairs of sunglasses because she's got a whole lot of really cool sunglasses and really cool shapes and colours. And I love crazy sunglasses, but a lot of sunglass shapes just look absolutely terrible on me. So I don't want to buy sunglasses that make my face look wrong. So I tried on a few and I settled on these ones. These ones are cool because they're like more understated and neutral colour compared to a lot of other crazy sunglasses, but they're still very, very funky. Really like the colour. They're really cool. Once again, we're coming into winter, so of course I needed some sunglasses. Now we're moving on to the earrings, which are pretty much Finders Keepers Boutique is the place for earrings. That's that's what they do best. So the first ones I got were on sale. They are little clams clams yeah little clam shell things with oh, sorry, sorry. little clam shells with pearls and stars and glitter which is a bit of me and one of them's pink and one of them's blue which is quite fun yeah they're really cute and they were five dollars i think i'll get a lot of wear out of those they're sort of plastic pastely color that goes with a lot of stuff that I have and they're super cute. Also came in this really cute little plastic bag which you can't really see but it's got hearts on it and it says good fortune is fully packed. Isn't that nice? Second pair of earrings are these clear little flowers with smiley faces, pink smiley faces on them. These are so cute. The pink means that they're gonna go with a lot of my clothes which are pink kind of I don't know, but a bit psychedelic 60s looking to me. I really like those. I think I will wear those a lot. Another pair of fun earrings to add to the collection. And the last thing I got, which is another pair of earrings, are these ones, which are Fanta bottles. <laughs> Little mini Fanta bottles, which I love because Fanta is my favourite soft drink. It would be Fanta and Mountain Dew. If the machine is as if it's in a um you know machine that you get soft drink out of what do you call those a soft drink machine anyway you know how they've got the coke ones with all the like coke flavors and there's the pepsi one with all the pepsi flavors even though they're owned by the same company if it is a coke machine then fanta is what i want but if it's the pepsi one then i want mountain chip anyway what i'm trying to say is i really like fanta and also orange is one of my favorite colors orange and pink as you will probably be able to tell by all the things that i got amazing enter earrings orange ta-da sarah's literally been sitting in front of me staring at me the whole time next i went to paper bag princess which is a second hand slash vintage 
store in Dunedin. I, I don't know if it's really vintage. They have some kind of vintage items, but it's mostly good quality secondhand stuff. It's not like an op shop, but it's not like a vintage store. Kind of in the middle. Anyway, this is what I got. First of all, I got this belt. I'm always looking for belts with cool buckles at secondhand shops. And they're hardly ever there. They're usually just like cheap, nasty belts. But this one is really cool. It's got a really nice buckle, silver, which is good. I'm a silver gal. And it's got this beading in it, which is really nice as well. I wasn't sure about it, but I think it's actually really cool. Kind of gives me a bit of a western sort of vibe, which is cool in belts. And yeah, I like that it's black as well. So that was a cool find. Not something I was expecting to pick up today and you know, not something that I have a whole lot of. So that's good. Next thing was this jumper. Now, first of all, love it because it's orange. It says 1970 on it. Doesn't have a brand, so I don't know where it's originally from. Like the tags come off. 1970, it's a cool year. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just really like the way it looks and it's orange, you know, kind of a inner sort of jumper so it'd be good to tuck into things and you can, you can make a very like 70s look with that I think, you know, because it's orange and you know, tuck it into some like flared pants or like a skirt. It says 1970 so I feel like to do it justice you really do need to make a 70s look with it, you know. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of luck at a bag princess, which is probably good because they're kind of expensive. So I did only get three things, which I'm actually very pleased. Not just because of spending lots of money, but I don't really need more clothes. I mean, I definitely like more clothes, but I just don't have a whole lot of room for them. So I don't need to be picking up big old whole loads of clothes all the time. So I'm glad that the bulk of the things I got were like earrings, you know, small things. The last thing I got from there was this Hawaiian-ish shirt. I love a funky patterned shirt. That's like one of my favorite things ever. It's got some orange in it. It's yellow. It's a pretty good size. Not too big that it's like massive on me but good size to tie up or to just have open or whatever tuck it into stuff very versatile very my style i wasn't like super in love with it in the store but i guess because i didn't buy a lot of other things i gave it a chance and now that i've got it home i'm like yeah i'm glad i bought that because i i think i would have regretted it if i didn't pick it up you know pretty much all i got except I went to the supermarket because I'm, I'm going out tonight so I got some wine and you know technically she is from New Zealand from Marlborough Pinot Noir Rosé Stonely so gonna get dizzy on the fizzy tonight I'm meeting up with my friend before we go out my friend Claire because we're going to drinks at someone's flat and I thought it'd be fun you know it's a wee celebratory thing you know because we haven't seen each other in ages and the first time we're going out in a long time so I picked up a, a mini bottle of bubbly because you know popping a bottle of bubbly is the only real way to celebrate so it actually turned out to just be a twist top rather than a cork so I cannot believe I just hauled wine that's it's really kind of on brand for me to be honest i don't know if i'm gonna film anything else might you'll see but hey if i don't here's a message to support local and small in this time because you know mcdonald's <laughs> they're gonna be fine i mean i don't care if mcdonald's stops being fine what i'm trying to say is you need to look out for your, for your small businesses because they're the ones who are gonna struggle the most when they lose customers for like six weeks.